Okay, once again, welcome to Granddad's Kitchen. Now, today we're gonna do a butterfly chicken, a jerk butterfly chicken. Now, um, I ain't even got my gloves on, you know. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, let's try to use a knife. I might have to just wash my hand after if I can't struggle with this and do it. Right, now, you see, it's all tied up and everything. Last time I done butterfly chicken, I took the backbone out. Yeah, just cut down there, cut down there, and took it out, clean it up and everything. I showed you all that. But today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go straight down the breast. Yeah, I'm going to chop off these bits of the leg because they're not really my cup of tea. Just join them there, so might do, might do, might do. Then I'm going to whip over here, and I've got today. I'm using you can see spill all over the place. Jerk seasoning, powdered only. Only, yeah, I'm gonna cut up some onions, put in the bottom of my da -da, tray. So I'm gonna have my tray there, some onions all around it, a little bit of oil because the oils will be coming from the chicken also. So I'm gonna cut up my onions, sprinkle them all over there. My jerk seasoning, I'm gonna get my chicken first. Sorry, let's start again. First, I'm gonna get my chicken. Come over here, sir. Chicken, yeah, split chicken, chop our foot, chicken in pan little bit of oil, some jerk seasoning, spread all over chicken, massage it into the chicken, yeah? Why oh, may I laugh? No, no, may I eat, yeah? Massage it into the chicken, take the chicken back out, bed of onion, chicken on top, onion under, boom, sunk home. Okay, there's my chicken. I've um, cut it open. These are the bits, some, um, you see these bits, people say like you cut the backbone now. Take it for stock and da 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 da, throw it away. Soup, but listen, you chop that up, yeah, and you cook that down to make your gravy. You see, when you get your oils from your chicken, when you finish roasting, you chop that up, put it in a pot. Every, I'm gonna show you how to do that later, but right now, I'm gonna give this thing here a bath. All these things here, just peel up, just trim them off, yeah, just trim them off. See, I started trimming, but I'm gonna beard this chicken. So much things on it I don't like. See all these things here? I don't know what they are, but <laughs> just put me on my chicken. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give this chicken see sink clean, 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 clean. Just wash it again, just to make sure. So I'm gonna just get my chicken. Here it is, might as well do it now. Chuck it in there. Constant running water. Turn the water down a bit because it's just gonna splash everywhere. Wash that chicken proper, proper wash it. Yeah, this stage you don't even want a glove because the gloves will get catch on the bone, might get catch on the bone, and then it starts ripping, so it kind of defeats the object. But you can see what I'm doing in it. Yeah, so I'm gonna carry on with that because I ain't got no foolishness to talk about right now. Not right, right now, but trust me, before this finish, I will have something mad to say to you. <laughs> As I usually do, yeah? So I need to once make sure this bird clean, yes, yeah, sir? Okay, there it is. My onions I've cut up in here. These little black bits, you can see, is little pimento seeds. Yeah, I haven't put no, um, these are bits of chicken that. Uh, fat and the juice from that, don't have to eat that, you understand? Like the same as the backbone, so you don't have to eat it, but the juices will add to the flavour of the gravy. Right, so we have some pimento seed in there, we have our onions cut up. Let me just rest that on top of there. <laughs> I'll miss about too much in it. So that's all good. Now our chicken, you can see it's all um, finger magic. I've taken my gloves off, I'm just going to try and use this. Just hold it there. Oh, come on, where did you can put them on? Sure. And there, right? There's my chicken. You can see nicely coated with my seasoning. Well massaged in there. I'm just going to rest that down there on its back. Spread it open. <laughs> yeah, take out the gloves. Get my onions ready now. Oh, almost broke off the cupboard door. Right. I'm going to need two hands to scrape this all onto here now, but let me just give it a go and see how far I can get with one hand. Alright. No, it's just going to make a mess. 
So also I've added a little bit of brown sugar to it. I said I weren't going to have nothing more than the all purpose seasoning but I can't help it. I see these things and I think mmm that would I me mean, have to eat it, you know, I have to eat it, remember? Anyway, I'm going to scrape my onions on top of here now. I'm going to switch my oven on at the same time and this is an electric oven. So I'm going to work it up to 220 just to warm it up. And then I'm going to knock it down to about 140 while the chicken does what it's doing. So, let that go on warm. Get this on there. Get it all dressed up nice, suited and booted, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back again. Now, my oven's been on for a while, and you can see the chicken is just... I s Listen, people, you know me, it's Jared, and we're coming here for make a cup of tea, and it turned into a sandwich. Right, now, I've added to here, you can see, some all-purpose seasoning. All these are in there already. They just enhance it a little bit. Ah, I've added some all-purpose seasoning. You see it sprinkled all over there, down inside there. Uh, some ginger paste. Um, now, the quantities you had, you're going to taste here. Yeah? I've put a teaspoon, two teaspoon of ginger paste. About two teaspoon all-purpose seasoning. Thyme, couple of strings of thyme. About, if we're going to measure it with my, um, uh, what do you call it, cup? Shot cup. Yeah, if you're going to measure it with a shot cup, you want about a quarter of a shot cup of thyme. Sprinkle it all over it. Yeah, your onion, garlic. Again, a couple of cloves of garlic, two, three. To, to, to how you like it. Once it's got going on everything, you then can add or take away from it. But right now, this chicken looks ready, ready. Dressed up in his Sunday best, going to do what it was put here to do, which is feed me. <laughs> yeah? It not do nothing else. We're gonna dash away. If you dash away, it don't make sense. So it's like a feeling. Anyhow, before I go on with all of that foolishness, me and my girlfriend having a talk the other day, and I said to her, Are you allergic to nuts? So she said, She don't know. So I said, Later, me have so. I can give you your TC and tell me how you feel. <laughs> yeah, if you like it, me help you succeed in our life. <laughs> we can know we have stuff like that, right? Suko people, don't mind me, I'm a foolishness. Okay, this is the stage our chicken is at after half an hour. So what we're going to do now, we're going to flip it and we're going to take the fire up a notch because you can see it's colouring, but not enough for my liking. You're missing my liking, so when you're cooking your chicken, it's your liking. Okay, so we're going to flip this bad boy now. Back away from the steam. Chuck him back in. Turn up the heat on and eat. Make him just go and dance. Okay, have a good time. Oh, I can't even tell if this thing's been recording properly, but anyway, here we go. Half an hour this chicken's been in. See how it looks? Mm, all nice all over. So, we're going to flip it and put it back and take the heat up a notch. Okay, here we go. We've flipped it. We've tasted, you see, this is a good time to taste. We've tasted our sauce, gravy, gravy sauce, call it what you like. Tastes a little bit on the hot side, yeah. So we got some brown sugar and we sprinkle. That's what we call sprinkle, yeah. All over our chicken. That's just to take our edge off the heat and crisp it up a bit. So now we're gonna whack our fire up to about 200, like I said, and we're gonna stick this girl, bad boy, girl, girl. But listen, I'm my chicken, call <laughs> me like, yeah. So I'm gonna stick this girl back in the oven. I make sure just go on nice, okay. But first, I think I should do some with these wings, so some heat can get underneath these wings. So I need to somehow, some way, yeah. So come right. I've removed the wings, as you can see, the blood's there. That I tell you, say you can't even nowhere near cook yet. Okay, you want it to be clear, so we cut that off, stuck it in the corner there. The other one, we stuck it down the bottom there. So, take this as advice cut it off first before you put it in. I'll make sure it fits in that brock it, make sure it can fall over so it can go under there. So, brock it before you put it in there. Or, however, you do it, make it fit and that is exposed, otherwise, you can see no eat, no eat, no cook. 
FIFA soon come back in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is what we're going to present to you, or this is what we've just presented. Start again, this is the two. This is the end result of our, uh, what do we call it again? Oh uh, man, what kind of chicken is it again? Butterfly chicken, now uh, you got there. Butterfly jerk chicken, now uh, that's the chicken in gravy. There's the chicken straight out of the oven, ready to slice up. Served up with your rice and peas. If you want a little avocado, you can chuck that in there. Roast potato. See over there? And here again, some tomato. Now, if I just dress back a little bit. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, people. You see? You see how we eat? We eat like kegs. Trust me. Yeah? Jerk. Ah, butterfly chicken jerk butterfly chicken served up with rose potato rand rice and peas avocado tomato whatever you want optional but star of the show star of the show never let you go <laughs> okay later people for with such a real foolishness oh yeah remember subscribe if you like it if you don't like nah 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 <laughs> you get it? Later.